It's Saturday, July 18th. Let's play the booster box game, box number one. Can we get a hundred dollars? How does this game work? I'm about to break open a booster box of Magic Origins within 24 hours of its launch. I want to see if I can immediately sell cards and get $100 from those sales, which is what I paid for the box. If I can sell enough cards to get $100, then I will do so immediately and use that $100 to buy another booster box. I will keep doing this until I do eventually open a box where I can't get a hundred dollars. I'm not selling commons or uncommons, and no one wants to buy those one dollar jank rares. How many boxes will we crack open? One or a hundred? Probably not a hundred, but for M15 we cracked open two booster boxes. For Cons of Tarkir we cracked open three booster boxes. For Fate Reforged we cracked open two booster boxes. Dragons of Tarkir so far was the only dud at one booster box. And for Modern Masters 2 we were able to crack open three booster boxes. Let's see how far we get with Magic Origins. I'm going to go fast here, so I'm only showing the foils, rares, and mythics that I open, and I'm skipping the rest of what's in each pack, the commons and uncommons. As usual, I'm gonna say that the minimum cutoff for card value is $4. There's just nothing to be had trying to sell $1 and $2 rares, at least not as far as the booster box game is concerned. So only $4 cards are going to be counted towards the $100.
Ugh, not even close. So it looks like Magic Origins is our second set ever to not make it to a second box. Now, a lot of people said that they didn't like the time of the video, spoiling how far I got in the video. Meaning that a short video, people could tell that there was only one box, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a whole mess of packs, just a whole bunch of Avacyn Restored and Innistrad packs that I was given recently as a gift from a friend. I'm not going to be doing anything special special with them are the prices, it's mostly to pad out the time of the video so as not to spoil people's expectations, but if you're interested in seeing a whole bunch of Innistrad and Avacyn Restored packs get opened, well, here we go. Better luck with Battle for Zendikar, eh?